G'day guys, George here from Billy Go Gym again. We're out at a very different looking Yoon State Forest today. It's just recently opened up again since bushfires and it's just, it's completely burnt to a crisp. But the tracks are open, so let's go see what we can find. We are dropping into Wombat Holes first. Now that is an awesome track to test out the flex on your chimney. Then we're gonna head up to White Beacon Lookout, which is a nice easy track. And then we're gonna do this track here. I'm not sure what it's called, but we do some damage. So most of the tracks around the area are medium to hard, so you will need a suspension lift, some upgraded tires, and possibly a winch, even though you don't always have somewhere to winch off. So keep an eye out for that. So we're straight into it on this track here. We're about 20 meters off the starting point and straight away we're into some off camber stuff. Now because it's so close to Sydney, this is actually the first track I brought the Jimny to when I bought it. I only had the suspension lift done and the tires and I'll tell you what, it got to the end without too many issues, although I'd be lying if I said it wasn't easier with lockers. Now there are not too many points on this track where you've got all four wheels on the ground at the same time, but it is damn good fun. And the Jimny's size and wheelbase are just built for this kind of stuff. Righto, that's the first part of the track done. Now let's see if we can do the second half. Now if you've had your fill after the first half of this track, that's okay because there's an easy exit about halfway up. As usual, the camera does not do the track justice. There's just so many holes where you're just lifting wheels continuously. But there's plenty of rocks around to fill up those holes if they're just a bit too big. What I love about this track is that it's technical driving. You don't have to commit to big steep hills or big rutted out tracks. It's just wheel placement, wheel placement, wheel placement. And there's no real chance of doing too much damage to your truck. Now I've done this track in a couple of other vehicles and each have their own strengths, but none of them are as fun as a Jimny. Whenever you get behind the wheel of this thing, you're just smiling ear to ear. So that was a great way to get the juices flowing first thing in the morning. From here we're going to head over to White Beacon Lookout to take in some of the views and see what kind of damage these bushfires have done to the area. Now the track up to White Beacon Lookout is fairly easy. It's only the first 50 metres that are a bit tricky, but you should be able to get through it, no worries, with a stock standard Jimny.
Now normally you see nothing but treetops around here, but with the bushfires going through and clearing everything out, you really get an appreciation of how many tracks there are. Now this third track is all downhill, so I decided to give the descent control a go. And look, it works okay. It does let the car go a little bit quicker than you would like, and it's not as controlled as I would personally like, but on the right type of hill, it would work out. Now as much as I love the Jimny and I think it's one of the most capable four wheel drives out there, going downhill is just scary. There's no two ways about it, there's so many hard in the mouth movements because it feels unsettled. The back end just wants to keep lifting up and if you drop your front wheels in a spot that they're not supposed to go into, you get into all sorts of trouble as I figured out in this corner right here. Now this here is why you need to be careful going downhill in a short wheelbase vehicle or so close to putting it on its side. Now not only does this highlight how careful you have to be going downhill, it also shows how important the right kind of bar work and protection is. I don't have rock sliders on here yet, I just never got around to them and I paid the price for it because it is currently sitting on its side sill. Now if we had a second vehicle here, this wouldn't be nearly as scary. We'd have tied off a snatch strap to the high tyre and put some weight on it and driven straight out of it. But because we're by ourselves and only one vehicle, we needed to take a bit more care. That was one of the scariest moments I've ever had in a four wheel drive. I'm literally shaking and sweating. It completely caught me by surprise. Um, and the worst part is I didn't even get the action shot on camera. And that's the first proper bit of damage I've done to this vehicle. Good set of rock sliders would have avoided that. Now it really is funny how different a track can be going in a different direction. Going up this, I would not have even blinked. The Jimny would have eaten it up. But going down, it is just so unsettling. So nice and slow is the only way to do it. Right, so I'm gonna call it for this track. Um, I'm about halfway down and it's just getting steeper and steeper. So I know I can get back up this way. If I go down too much further, I'm not too sure if I can turn around. So I'm gonna make the sensible decision, flick around and um, pick up the bits and pieces of my car that are left behind. Now with my tail between my legs, I am heading home, but I'll be back out to Newton State Forest, hopefully with a couple of more Jiminy's in tow and we'll be tackling some of these tracks. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll chat to you guys later.